Akriti Sofat speaking to me earlier. Over in Hong Kong, Dynam shares kicked off trade just a few minutes ago. The Japanese company operates pachinko halls across Japan. Now, pachinko is a gambling game native to Japan played on vertical pinball machines. Well, earlier I spoke with the BBC's Mariko Oi in Tokyo and asked why Dynam chose to list in Hong Kong. There's a bit of a grey area surrounding this industry, the pachinko industry. Uh, Anti-social forces, money laundering raised a lot of concerns about this listing. So how has Dynam managed to skirt the regulatory hurdles over in Hong Kong? Well, as you say, there were quite a few challenges, but I did read one report uh, which said that Dynam's uh, finances are in a very good shape. Uh, the, com the company has been compiling its earnings reports uh, way before it said that it wanted to list its shares in Hong Kong. Uh, and that report also said that if you look at uh, corporate governance and transparency side of things, uh, the company is probably in a much better shape than, say, uh, the likes of Olympus and Dio Paper, which were caught in a huge scandals lately. Uh, so I guess that's how how Dynam has managed to uh, convince regulators in Hong Kong that it is a, a very profitable and very clear uh, operation despite uh, what, it, what its business might do. Mariko Oi in Tokyo. Now, Toyota Motor shares shot up to a four-week high this morning. Now, in Bangladesh, senior economists have expressed concerns over the stability of Grameen Bank as the pioneering micro-lending institution after the government took steps to give more powers to the bank's government-appointed chairman. The bank was founded by Nobel laureate and microfinance guru Muhammad Yunus about 30 years ago. The BBC's Ambarasa Natarajan has more from Dhaka. The Rajan there in Dhaka. Now, economic data is key to how a government manages its economy. It helps uh, build spending plans as well. Central banks rely on economic indicators to set borrowing costs. In India, the figures are known to be extremely volatile. The BBC's Samir Hajmi takes a look at how data is collected and if the processes can be improved. Markets, because we are seeing gains this uh, Monday morning for Asian shares. That's after stronger than expected U.S. jobs uh, report on Friday. Uh, as you can see, there's strong gains for the Nikkei, Hong Kong, Korea, and over in Australia. And that's it for this edition of Asia Business Report. Thanks for watching.